got to shoot the lying bastards. For doing what? Lying to everybody about everything. You got to tell me more. Because people don't understand what... They want to know what you're talking about. Tell the camera. Well, about the goddamn oil spill and all this shit and lying to people, covering up everything. I have seen them where they've thrown shit across stuff. There's a place down the road where they keep dumping stuff. What's to say there's not oil underneath that? So all they're doing is lying to everybody just so they don't have to pay nothing when they're making billions of profits. So the more they put the people off, that's money in their pocket. That's the bottom line, their money. What is your name, please? Diane Lafferty. And Diane, why did you ask me to come here today? To talk about Enbridge and my health. And, and what, what about it? I've been sick the last two years. I originally got sick at the oil spill and I had to call them and they paid for a hotel room for two days. They wouldn't go beyond that because there were so many other sick people. And then I ended up getting hospitalized for three days and they pumped so much antibiotics into my body they didn't know what was wrong with me. And my parents were out front and there was an Enbridge worker and they said there was an actual test they could do for the benzene for the oil and so my parents had to pay for that and Enbridge ended up reimbursing them for it. Well why would they reimburse your parents for the, the medical stuff if it wasn't because of them? I don't know. Did, well why do you think? Probably because they're admitting some sort of fault. Exactly. Um, so how bad were you sick? I was in the hospital for three days. I couldn't sit, stand, or walk or anything. I couldn't pick anything up. I was like exorcist vomiting. And when did this happen? Shortly after the oil spill, a couple of days after. So a couple of, did you ever get sick prior to this? No, never. So you've never been sick before the oil spill, then the oil spill happens, and then you can't even pick anything up or walk? No, I had to lay down uh, when my mom in her truck, when she drove me to the hospital, I couldn't get up. I had a migraine for nine days. Betty Lafferty. And can you tell me why I'm here today? Because um, my daughter Diane contacted you about Enbridge. And what did you guys want to tell me? Of all the issues that she's gone through, health issues since this happened. She was, uh, she became very ill after the oil spill and she was hospitalized and uh, we asked the doctors wasn't there some kind of test that they could give her to find out if that was the cause and they said they didn't know of any such test available. And she was in the hospital like three days when there was a man from Enbridge outside and my husband went out and talked to him. He was measuring the air quality and uh, he said no there is such a test. He said you go back and tell him that there's a test for benzene and tell them to do that. And then he said, then call Enbridge and they will reimburse you for the test. They will pay for it. Okay, so we went back to the hospital and they said, uh, they didn't know anything about it, but a head nurse came in and we talked to her and she said, well, I don't know, but I'll find out. She came back and said, yes, there is such a test, but they couldn't do it there. It would have to be sent out and it might take a while. And my husband said, I don't care. We want it done. Robert Lafferty. And can you tell me why I'm here today? Well, Diane got in contact with you over the Enbridge oil spill. And what do you have to say? What do you want to say? Well, it's sad that they uh, are denying everything for one. We're 2,000 feet from the river, and there's no way it could have been done, yet they had people out here doing air tests and everything. Right. Um, do, you, do you think your daughter got sick because of the oil spill? Yeah, I do. Because her immune system is low. Tell me more about it, will you? From a father's perspective. Well, I think it's sad that they lie through their teeth. Who does? Enbridge. Tell me more about it. Well, I think that they should take and uh, act for what they should do and pay for their mistakes instead of blowing it off. And how have they blown it off? Saying there's no way it could have been that from the air, contaminant, or anything. Which I disagree because we could smell it here. What did it smell like? I don't know. Well, it was awful. It was it, I can't really describe it. it. It was a bad smell, but you could smell something. A lot of people say it was like asphalt when they're tarring the road. 
Did, what do you feel? Well, similar to that, or maybe a little stronger. Right. Uh, I, it was a lot stronger right next to the river. Um, after the oil spill, you had a miscarriage. Yes. And you said it was... It was bad. I almost ended up dying. My liver, spleen, pancreas, uterus, and gallbladder had gotten infected, and the hospital told me if I had gotten there six hours later, I probably would have been dead. And so why do you think you were sick? What's your opinion? I don't know. I've never been pregnant before, so I didn't know if it was from the oil spill, but I've heard rumors that other people have lost their kids due to the oil spill, too. What do you think about what Ambridge has done to you and your family? I think it's terrible. I've been unemployed for six months now due to getting fired. And do you believe Ambridge when they say that this area is clean? No, I've seen the oil. And where are you from? I'm from Soresco. I live about a mile away from the dam. All right, and so you've seen the oil. Tell me about that. A friend and I went down to Historic Bridge Park, and I've been away for a little while, and we went down there, and we saw oil along, like, the mud and the dirt. It's just you could see it. We saw a fish die. He tried to save it. And this is July of 2012? Yep. So isn't that where the kids are? Yeah, kids hang out there all the time. They put a park in down there. Embridge put a park in. Yeah. And do you think that park should be there? I mean, is it clean enough for those kids? No. Why not? It's filled with oil, and if it does this to my health, and they're just little kids, they're still growing. She was ill every single day, almost every day. She was in the hospital, and she had to have um, IVs, and she couldn't keep anything down. They had to give her constant medication. She couldn't eat or hardly drink water. Everything came back up. She was sick for the few months that she was pregnant. She found out she was pregnant with twins. She ended up losing them, and we didn't even know if that was because of um, the oil spill because we've heard that there are long-term effects uh, from people. Other girls have lost babies also. She's only 22 years old. She's had a lot of health issues since this happened. She's had severe migraines. She's lost a tremendous amount of weight. I don't know. I just think that Enbridge should be held accountable for what uh, has happened to many people. And they just keep passing the buck and saying it's not. Can you tell me about yourself? Um, are you, have you had any signs of sickness after the oil spill? Yes, I have, but I never really conjured it as being part of that, but who knows, it could be. I've had a lot of health issues with my throat and breathing. Um, I'm always coughing all the time. I've been taking medication off and on for a couple of years for that. And uh, I've had migraines myself. I've almost died twice now. What do you mean, tell me more about that? Um, I was in the hospital for nine days after my miscarriage and um, they, they said they didn't understand why I had gotten infected after the miscarriage and they were trying to tell me they needed to take my gallbladder out and stuff like that and they pumped up all these antibiotics in me and I had a pick line in my arm for an additional nine days that went all the way up here into my heart pretty much and I had to go for infusion therapy once a day. Okay. Um, what, what did it feel like when you were sick right after the oil spill? I was weak. I had the worst migraine I've ever had in my entire life. I've never had a migraine like that, ever. I never had migraines before the oil spill. I couldn't stand up without vomiting. I was vomiting everywhere. How bad was it? I vomit every time I open my eyes. Wow, was that bad? Yeah. Now, do you think it just happened? I mean, just because... I mean, how old are you? I'm 22. So, you were approximately 20 when the spill happened. Yep. And you were very healthy before the spill. Yeah, I've never had health problems like this. And so then all of a sudden, I mean, you're sick as a dog, puking, migraines. You can't walk, can't sit up, you can't do anything. Uh, have migraines and then you have miscarriages um, with twins. Um, are you mad? Yeah, I haven't been able to eat right since I'm on nausea pills called Zofran, and they're really expensive, and I don't have insurance, and I basically take them to try to eat. 
I, I'm more concerned for my daughter than myself. She's a lot younger. She shouldn't be going through all this that she's been having to endure. So after the oil spill, you started getting migraines, yeah. and you still have those two years later. Yes. Do you, What do you think? What do you want to tell Enbridge? I think they should take care of the people that they've been lying to all this time. There's so many people out there that are sick and have health issues because of what happened, and they're not taking care of them, and I think they should. They should be held accountable for what they did. Thank you. Have you asked Enbridge to pay for these pills? I did back when the oil spill happened, and they won't pay for anything else. They were like, well, we'll get in contact with you, and they never did. So Amber said that they would help you, that um, they were going to help you pay for the medicine because um, you were sick right after the oil spill, and they said they'd call you, and they just never did. They never did. They said they were going to investigate it, and I never got a phone call. I still owe the hospital an outrageous amount of money. What do you think you owe the hospital? Probably just over ten grand, plus whatever I've been in besides that. So who should pay for that? Enbridge. Why? Because I never had these problems before they came along. They had to shoot them. Hang the son of a bitches. That's all. There's nothing wrong with saying it because you haven't said a name. You're saying a company. <laughs> well, what company are you so mad at? Enbridge themselves. I don't understand. Everybody thinks Enbridge says that they're doing a great job. Yeah, they're doing a great job at covering up. That's what it boils down to. They're snowballing everybody because they say it's true. It don't mean it is. Take them out there, show them, prove it. Have divers go down to the bottom and check it out and see if they're telling the truth. Well, what do you think about it when they say if you get oil on you, you can wipe it off at decontamination stations after you get out of the river? That means it ain't clean. Why would you have to wash yourself off for decontamination if it's clean? And they, well, they say you only get a rash from it. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I think can you swallow gonna... it? Hell no, you can't. I ain't going to drink oil. Well, yeah, but what about the kids that are in the river? They might have big problems down the road, if not die. Tonight, a News Channel 3 I-Team investigation into claims oil from the Enbridge pipeline was not properly cleaned up in the months after the spill. We first talked to John Bolenbaugh exclusively in February when he told us that as an oil cleanup worker, he was told to hide oil instead of properly remove it. Bolenbaugh has since been fired and is suing his former company. Now, court documents shed new light on the fired workers' claims. The I-Team's Ryan Duffy looked through those documents and spoke with Bolenbaugh. He's live now in Kalamazoo. Ryan. Aaron, when we did first talk to John Bolenbaugh, he told us he was told to simply cover up oil soaked ground instead of doing a real cleanup and he says since then he's been dealing with the repercussions of revealing that inside information it is all oil when john bolenbaugh took us on this tour of the site of the enbridge oil spill in february he says he never imagined where it would lead he told us then how as an employee of an enbridge subcontractor cleaning up oil he was told to cover up oil patches and to spread it around to make it look clean. He says revealing that cost him his job and a lot more. I lost my job. I lost my career. I've been overlooked for every oil job there is in the union, because I'm a union member, and I've sold everything I own. And Since being fired, Bolenbaugh has sued his former company, SET Environmental, and he says testimony and depositions for his lawsuit prove he was telling the truth. The I-Team has examined those deposition transcripts, for example, this testimony on page 39 was from a man Bolenbaugh says was his former boss on the cleanup. Do you recall being present at a meeting in which John Duncan told SET employees that they didn't have to cover up oil if it bothered their conscience? Yes. And when did that take place? After an O'Brien representative told us to spread oily debris in the woods out thinner so it would look less like there was thick oil there. Bolenbaugh says testimony like this shows he was telling the truth and was unfairly fired. I mean, there is no other reason. I was a good employee. I never was rode up, never missed a day of work. I'm a hard worker, and they all said that.